confused. I found the mountain quickly on the first hole. I don't think it's too deep here either. I have some timber that's 550, plus the ones I did the other day, which are 5. 20. Actually, I think it might be 560 the ones I've got. So let's draw those pieces of timber up. 560. They can be used as the plates. So this would be a long wall facade drawing. And the roof is going to sit on top of that. The, joint, the roof. Spadded, they're called in Norwegian. I'm going to have to have a little card, aren't I, with the names of the things in English. I just can't remember. I don't want to get. I don't want to be saying lots of stupid wrong things all the time. So I'll leave it for now. I want these to stick out 50 centimeters because um, it protects the standing beams to have a little bit of extra roof in the end. It could actually conceivably be even more than that. And the more the more you have, the less weight you put. It acts as a counter-lever, you know, the forces reduce, the, more, the closer these are together, the less, the, the less weight you have on the middle part. I've got to have to do a, a drawing of it from the gable end as well, and there I think I have the width of four metres, and the reason for that is because I need to have, I don't want it to exceed four metres in height. I'm going to go for 20, 26, 27 and a half degrees. I'll check that. It's no good if the paper's moving around, is it? Although none of this equipment is actually very 
accurate. It's, I have to check it quite frequently because it's a bit old and a bit broken. That builds one meter thirty. It was a bit under one meter thirty. So that would be the height of the roof. And then I want the total height to be no more than four meters. So that should be the average, so it should be a little bit less than that. So that should be the ground level on average. That gives us a height of two meters 30 for the standing posts, which is really perfect because I, the pieces of timber I've got, I think are around about 550 long and they need to come up above, above these. So that's corrugated iron. On that side, I see. Yeah, that should be good there. I'm going to have 50 sticking out. It should be on the other side. So, and then I'm going to make some. I think I might. Um, well, I'll see if I can find a stone that does that nicely. But I might use a little bit of cement because the mountain goes like this and like that. So it might be a good idea to, to drill a pin into the mountain, a metal pin, and then put a, a little bit of concrete down before I put the stone on. The trouble with having stones and things, and uh, unless I clear the earth away, which I could do, is that if, if you get frost underneath the stones, it can lift up. So it's quite good to have a conical shape down to the mountain so that the frost when it goes up doesn't doesn't lift the building with it. Maybe made out of root stock. 230. 230. use those new pieces I felled the other day here. I can lower the um, angle a little bit if I need to. So it shouldn't be more than four meters, it should be less than four meters, yeah. tempted to do more detail for the YouTube community because it might not be clear what's going on here but on the other hand I don't want to waste too much of my own time do it, doing doing stuff um, that I don't need myself and as I've said very many times before in films and in certainly in comments very much that this isn't a how-to channel I really don't want to um, for my viewers to think that these are descriptions of how to do things the way I think you should. I'm not trying to teach people how to do things. If anything, I'm trying to teach myself how to do them. So I have to say that these are not how to, if you if you learn something from them, then that's because you've learned something, you you know, take, take it as a part of your own autodidactic education. So please don't complain if I don't explain thing, things very well. It's not my really my intention to explain them very well. What I'm doing with these films is bringing you along on my journey when I do things. You know, it's actually quite, in a way, it's quite egocentric. And uh, that's what YouTube's about. Though.
doesn't fall in because I need to level it off a little bit in here. It's good that the mountain is so close uh, to the surface here. It gives you a really good frost-free foundation. But this field and all of the earth on it is really a moving mass. It's slipping down the slope slowly but surely. So under any circumstances this foundation has to be considered a kind of temporary thing and it'll always have to be looked after and perhaps the building adjusted and moved slightly. should just be part of the maintenance routine to check buildings for s movement. They can be jacked up. That's one of the good things about this kind of joinery is that it can handle a little bit of, uh, it can handle some movement. 